It's on the race for the White House. Vice President Harris and her newly announced running mate Tim Walz are expected to land in Arizona later today. Yeah, the Harris Walz campaign said it raised $36 million in the first 24 hours after Walz joined the ticket. So Vice President Harris and former President Trump's running mate, Senator J.D. Vance, both campaigned during separate events yesterday in Wisconsin. Harris also appeared at a second rally in Michigan and has another one there today before she heads to Phoenix. The candidates slammed each other's records as they pitched themselves to Midwest voters as the best option. Every single thing that Americans need to buy in order to live a halfway decent life has become more expensive because of Kamala Harris's economic policies. And instead of saying, I'm sorry, instead of saying, maybe, you know, we should go in a different direction, she's running from the media, refusing to answer tough questions, and hoping that a basement campaign is going to earn her a promotion. And I think we ought to say to Kamala Harris, you are fired. Our campaign, this campaign, is not just about us versus Donald Trump. It's bigger than that. It is about two very different visions for the future of our nation. One ours focused on the future, and the other focused on the past. And Michigan, we, we here fight for the future. We fight for the future. And the former president will be back on the campaign trail tomorrow with a rally in Bozeman, Montana. He says he expects to debate Harris in the near future while leaving open the possibility for the event to take place on another network besides Fox News. Now, as we just mentioned moments ago, Harris and Waltz land in Phoenix later today ahead of the campaign's event in the Valley tomorrow. We spoke with a strategist at High Ground Public Affairs, and he says... He expects the campaign to focus on abortion, the economy, and immigration. You've maybe seen the attack ads already on air blaming border issues on Vice President Harris. Well, experts say she will need to try to take control of that issue with possible support from Senator Mark Kelly. Now, he wasn't chosen as the vice presidential candidate, uh, much to the chagrin of many Arizonans, but he still can play a very effective role because he has been outspoken about border issues, and maybe she can use some of that to help uh, build her case. That's strategist Paul Bentz, and he thinks both presidential candidates will spend a lot of time in Arizona. Former President Trump likely visiting rural areas and places where he can draw in big crowds, while the Harris-Walls campaign may tour areas that benefited from the CHIPS Act.